Yeah, I didn't know what to put as, like, uh, waiting room stuff. So, here's footage of me playing Mario All-Stars. Anyway, uh, the Nintendo Direct is happening in about 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah. This one is the one that, um, is probably gonna be the last one before the next console, so, you know. It's gonna be a send-off for the Switch. It's 40 minutes long. I imagine a lot of that time is gonna get dedicated to showing off Luigi's Mansion that's coming out in the next few weeks, so I expect that to eat up about 10 minutes. And then the other half hour, I mean, who knows? Um, it's kinda hard to say. The thing with Nintendo is like, sometimes they do less than what you predict, and sometimes they kinda just do the unexpected, so it's hard to say. Um, I haven't really paid attention to any of the leaks or any of that stuff, um, so, yeah, I don't know, we'll see, we'll go in blind on this one. But, uh, yeah, this will be the last thing before the Switch. Most likely, what I'm expecting is one title that'll carry them for the holiday. Um, because we don't have any kind of holiday game. I think Luigi's Mansion is the last thing they're releasing? I don't know. Let that screen go black. Loop it. <laughs> Loop the Mario All-Stars footage. See more of that. Um, but yeah. So let's talk about, like, what they could possibly announce here. Um... I mean, it, you know, the big one is Metroid Prime 4. That's not going to happen. At least I don't think so. That, to me, is going to be on the new console. It just makes sense at this point. Um, you know, I think what they'll do is they'll have some sort of remake um, to kind of tide people over. An unexpected one. That's what I'm guessing. There's also the matter of, like, the other two Metroid Prime games, so, you know, it's possible that could be thrown into the mix, who knows. Um, but things that are kind of overdue that I think could have a likelihood of making an appearance here. Um, 2D Zelda. It's been a while. Um, you know, Link's Awakening Remake was about, what, five years ago? And before that, like, a completely new 2D Zelda. I think it would have been the, the 3DS, if I'm not wrong. So it's, it's been even longer. Um, but that, you know, it's small enough in scope that, you know, I think the games that they want to do for the new console would be something that just showcases a leap. And 2D Zelda wouldn't exactly do that, so... I think that's one likelihood. The other likelihood... Um, could be that, you know, Samus Returns from the 3DS gets ported to the Switch. I think that'd be a good choice. Given, um, you know, we're leading into Metroid Prime 4, we need to have some kind of a buffer. So it's a way to have that. Um, I think that could be a, a nice little surprise for people if they were to do that. But, I mean, in terms of 2D Zelda, they could do, like, um, the Oracle games. Because originally the Oracle games, you know, they used Link's Awakening as a base. So they could just repeat the same thing here and just, you know, use the Oracle games um, as a way to tie people over and just base it off what they did with Link's Awakening, again. The only issue with that is, like, they were two separate games, so I'm not quite sure how they handle that. I think it'd be a bit gutsy of them to, uh, try to sell two separate games like they did with the Game Boy games. I mean, I guess I could package it into one, but they don't really do that that often, like a two-in-one sort of deal. Um... With the exception being 3D World and the 3D Collection. Um, so yeah, I don't know, who knows. Um, 
there's just so many other games that it could be, but the problem is it's just a bit of an awkward spot, is like, you know, I imagine that I imagine they're not gonna even talk about the new console until the end of the year, if not next year. So really like we have six months of well what games are we gonna get it could be that they just go completely chill and you know there's not there's just not a lot happening from here till then and it's just third party stuff which could very well be the case um but i would imagine that at least for the holiday period they're gonna have some major game major being you know one of the primary uh franchises so see. Um, the other thing that's kind of long overdue is 3D Mario, but again, that would be weird to announce now. Even if they were just to show off something. Dude, it's crazy that Odyssey was like seven years ago. It really doesn't feel like that, but it, it truly was that long ago. So, we're kind of overdue for a 3D Mario. I mean, you can say that what they did with, um, Bowser's Fury counts as a 3D Mario, but even then, that was still a while ago. So, you know. I don't know. It, it's weird. Like, this could be a whole lot of nothing, or it could be some surprises installed in terms of, uh, remakes and stuff and remasters. Um, I'd love to see Samus Returns port it over to the Switch. That'd be great. Because Dread was good, and, you know, I'd love to see that game. I haven't played it myself. I own a copy of it. But I got it, um, when the 3DS was kind of at, at the end of it, you know? I got the Switch, and then I, I just didn't play it. <laughs> it's, it's here, but, um, I guess I'd double dip and get a Switch version of it. But yeah, I would expect just that sort of stuff. I'm trying to think, like, what else they have, aside from Prime 4, but from, for the life of me, I don't know. I mean, okay, the ones that keep coming up, um, like, you know, the games that are stuck on the Wii U, basically Xenoblade Chronicles X and, um... The two Zelda remakes... remasters. They're, they're remasters. The two Zelda remasters. So Wind Waker and um, Twilight Princess HD. I'd like those to be ported over, but the likelihood... I don't know. It, it's a bit sketchy, because here's the thing. People want those games on the Switch. They want them on the Switch, for sure. You know? I think practically every Direct where... Zelda's kind of getting a mention, everyone's been hopeful. But I think the reason they haven't materialized, it's not because they can't, I think it's just... It'd be a tough sell, because though people want them, I don't think they want to pay full price for them, and I think that's the problem. Is that... I would imagine Nintendo would want to sell them for full price, but... Because... The treatment that they got in terms of a remaster all happened on the Wii U versions, like, what are they gonna add to them to kind of justify the fact that they want to sell them full price again? That's kind of the problem. I don't think they could do anything to them. Um, to kind of go, hey, yeah, it also got this, and, you know, we're still charging full price. I think that's the reason why we haven't gotten them. More than anything else. It's possible that they could make their way to the, um the new console, because if it does do 4K, then hey, then you can say, yeah, these games are 4K now, so here you go, have at it. I think it's a tougher sell on the Switch, so that's why I'm not expecting them. Um, as nice as it would be, you know, the reality is, are you going to pay full price for them? I don't know. Just give them a new hat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could. Just give them new outfits, that's, that's the way to do it. Just do what um, they did with Tropical Freeze, just add Funky Kong. For no reason, just add Funky Kong into it, it's a new mode. Um, or, you know, just a mode to play as a chicken. Instead of Funky Kong, play as, as a chicken. Um, yeah. 
I, like, I think we'll get them eventually. I just think they're going to be on the new hardware. Because then at least they can say, hey, yeah, it's 4K. Ultra, ultra HD or whatever the, the marketing is for that, you know. And they could say 60 FPS as well, which I'm sure is going to be a norm, hopefully. So... I will laugh if, like, everything I say, ah, oh, no, that's not a possibility, um, that it'll happen. Because I'll tell you what, like, when I gave them so much crap the night before about Game Boy not being on the subscription service, the very next day, bam, it was announced. So, um, what do I want to give them shit about? How about this? Um, the last Wario game that wasn't WarioWare was on the Wii. Like, come on, it's shameful. You have Pizza Tower, you have Anton Blast now, showing you how it's meant to be done. You need to... You need to get back to your roots with Wario. If I could summon any game, I think it would be that one, like a new Wario Land game. But that's just me. Um, extreme wishful thinking would be like, you know, a remake of a Super Nintendo game that I love, like... I don't think they'll ever do a Link to the Past. I just don't think they will. <laughs> it's one of those things that... The game is held in such high regard, but then also it's... I guess we got the Link Between Worlds game a while ago. So, I don't know. Super Metroid would be cool to see remade. That would kind of go well. Because I think that's... Yeah, that's kind of the only one that hasn't been remade at this point. Because um, the NES game was remade with Zero Mission, so... Kind of cool to see. I doubt it, but it'd be kind of cool. Another less than likely thing, um, you know, Star Fox. Hey, Star Fox has been absent for the longest amount of time. Maybe because of the success of F-Zero 99, they want to announce a new F-Zero. Eh? Yeah, maybe. I imagine they were testing the waters with um, F-099 to see if people had interest in it, but who knows? Um, it's another franchise that's kind of been absent for a while. I mean, Kid Icarus, can you call that a franchise? It had an NES game and it had a 3DS game. Maybe a port of that, the 3DS game to the Switch would be neat. Donkey Kong... I mean, look, we got Tropical Freeze, but that was just the portable Wii U game. New Donkey Kong would be cool. Um, I don't think it'll happen. But, uh... Hey. This is, like, extreme wishful thinking. Like, think crazy. What could be something that's idle and could suddenly make a resurgence? I don't think it's gonna happen. But, you know, again, the most likely thing I think is gonna be the case is, um... Either a port of a 3DS game... Or 2D Zelda. That, that would be my money. Um, I'd put my money on that. <laughs> just, they just make the most sense, given, you know, the new consoles next year. And I doubt they wanna sh just announce something that works on both, it'd, it'd be weird. But you never know, Nintendo's done Stranger Things. They might also talk about the fact that a Zelda movie's being made, so... I mean, maybe that presentation will just mention it. I think there's gonna be a lot of time wasters in this, and one of them's going to be Luigi's Mansion 2. Like, I guarantee you, 10 minutes of this is going to be explaining the basic gameplay of that game. Um just you watch. So, I think half an hour, maybe 25 minutes at, at, at best, for stuff that we don't really know about. Um, I just imagine it's going to be ports and remasters and that sort of thing. But hey, if it's something completely new, I'll, I'll be content, because I'm certainly not expecting it, given how little time is left until the new console. Um, 
yeah, I mean, you know, there's nothing really else that I think could surprise me in this. Oh, you know what? This is severe doubt, but you know, Silk Song, um, that's something that still doesn't really have a release date yet. It has been classified here in Australia, so that usually means that the game is releasing soon. And Nintendo recently um, had the demo of Hollow Knight downloadable for a limited time, so... Coincidence? Yeah, maybe. It'd be nice to see some of Silk Song. I just don't think Nintendo has, like, an exclusivity in terms of reveal, so... Who knows? Let's see... Tears of the Kingdom DLC... They said that wasn't gonna happen, so... I don't think there's anything that would get DLC. Has... Splatoon? Maybe Splatoon. I don't really keep up with that game, but maybe there's something pending for that game. I think there might be, actually. So that might actually eat up some more time. Um, yeah, I mean, the only other game that we got recently from them that could get DLC... I mean, Pikmin, maybe? Alright, well, there's, there's about five minutes left before it starts, so... Um... I'd love to see the Oracle games remade. I just, I don't know, I have a soft spot for those games. Just because... Game Boy games, there's something about them. Just... have pleasant memories with, with that console. So, playing those games again... I'd play them again, even though I played them... What, like... Holy crap, it's been a couple of years. Jeez. <laughs> I thought I played them recently, but like... I, pl I think I played Oracle of Ages last year and Seasons the year before. Dude, where does the time go? There's just stuff that is celebrating anniversaries this year, like... The South Park movie is 25 years old. The original animated Lion King is 30 years old this year. Um, the DS is 20 years, <laughs> the original DS is 20 years old, dude, yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's what happens, but, um, I think it's safe to say that most of the stuff that's gonna be announced here is gonna probably be something that has enhancements on the new console. I mean, they found it with, uh, Thousand Year Door. But that had, uh... A 4K mode, so... I imagine... I mean, that's the thing, they could always just do that. They could have stuff that is still big, and just be like, well, it's not the biggest thing we could announce. Like, it's still sizable, but... We're saving all the big ones for the new console, but, you know, this stuff here could see uh, enhancements for the uh, new console. It could happen. It's hard to say what they, they're thinking. It's, I don't know. I think this one's going to be a case of, like, either going to be a whole lot of nothing, or it's going to surprise me pleasantly. But not like, you know, oh wow, I'm shocked. So... I would be happy with just a 2D Zelda. That, that's it. That is my hope. And we'll see. Hey, Star, how's it going? Right, there's like about three minutes left before it starts. I'm gonna sip on my tea. I just love how much in the last month, they have just reiterated constantly, hey, we're not talking about the new console. Hey, we're not talking about the new console. They have made more effort to not announce something than announce something. <laughs> but you know what? It's a good call because you don't want to end up in the situation that Blizzard were in with Diablo 4. That was, that was like poorly played on their part. 
Okay, your sleep schedule is wonky. You've been falling asleep early and waking up early. Oh. But that, that's a... Wait, is that wonky or is that a good thing? That's like... If you're falling asleep early, does that mean, what, like, 8pm sleep and then getting up at, like, 6am? Some would call... some would call that normal. That's a bad thing, you haven't been streaming. Yeah, but, like... I wouldn't call it a bad thing just because you're not streaming. Imagine expecting D4 and getting immortal. Do they think we all have phones? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't just the phone comment. Like, the thing that was just perfect about that whole scenario was that Bethesda... They announced a mobile game, and then immediately afterwards they showed the logo for the Elder Scrolls game. Just the logo. Like, you know. They didn't show any gameplay, they just announced that it was coming. And people, you know, applauded them. They didn't give them crap for announcing a, a phone game. All they had to do, they could have announced Immortal. All they had to do was immediately afterwards just show, like, you know, a dark screen, pitch black, and then suddenly some flames light up and the number four appears. That's all they needed to do. And they didn't do that. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just such an easy win for doing nothing. Anyway, it's gonna start in a minute, but... That was just the thing that was horrible about it. Okay, um... Here we go. Mario already? What do you mean, Mario already? Is this Mario and Luigi? Dude, is this Mario and Luigi? Oh my god, I love this series. If this if this is it. Huh? The art style, dude. Luigi! Yeah. Are you kidding? This is going to be like three Mario RPG games. Oh my god. Oh dude. Starting off strong! I haven't played all of the games in the series, but like... So I'm not sure if I'm, we're looking at like a, a new entry or a remake here. This series is great, like... It has similar humor to what Paper Mario does, but... It's its own thing. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Okay, no, I I'm very happy. But that is so crazy. They're doing three Mario RPG games back to back is insane. Mario RPG, Thousand Year Door, and now Mario and Luigi. But I. I don't know. I don't know if this is a new entry. It looks like it is. Wow. Yeah, this is a new entry. It's not a remaster or a remake. Wow. Well, there you go. There's the holiday game. Hello, Already, they've I'm kind of. And I'll be your guide for today's <laughs> Nintendo. Hey, Nikto. I can't believe they opened with that. Like that is usually. That is first new entry I would have expected this at the end of the direct. Like, hey, one more thing. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure. I love how they call. They couldn't call it Brotherhood. As well as evolve Brothership moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Damn, man. Bring the championships home. Okay, I know about this. I have this on order. 
the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. This is a, co a cool concept. Take on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your like timing. they get you to do then things you quickly and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. It's a cool idea. Try more difficult legend challenges. Oh god, no. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Oh god, no. <laughs> I could do it, but like I would get so tilted at the Hammer Brothers. Handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. It's cool. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. It's not that far away. The digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. Games done quick peeps are probably going nuts right now. Yeah. About to begin. That collector's edition is so tempting. Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action I RPG. do not know this series, so I have Seven nothing to say about Kingdom it. Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to but, finish their fight. You know, RPGs Engage usually make an appearance here. And unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Where do they go from here? Now this is this is crazy. Where do they go at the end then? If they've already shown something completely new, like what? Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu Ooh. comes the turn-based RPG Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. This looks interesting. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. And it's got the Final Fantasy music producer involved. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. It looks Adjust classic. Adjust trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. You know what I love about this when they're showing off RPG games is like, how many times have they done this? Showing off an RPG game, they, it's like as if this is a new concept. The more you can wipe out in one shot. I know it's for investors, but it, it's funny to me. Now, let us save the world. You take your turn and attack the enemy. Then the enemy has their turn and attacks you back. It's up to you to form a strategy. Nintendo Switch this holiday. Just yes, dude. We know. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. I completely forgot about this game. Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. I don't know, man. Like, I don't like this trend that Nintendo has been doing lately where in two they release a game like this with very little content and then they kind of trickle it out. Try out three point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within. Like, this had a lot of the Wii Sports uh, games missing. Like, yeah, this is all well and good, but this is probably like at the point where people have lost interest in the game. So, I don't know. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. You still have to, and you have to pay to play online. Yeah, of course. That's the norm now. <laughs> Nintendo games online. Jeez. It's a coin flip. It's like either, yeah, you get an okay experience, or it's like what it was with Mario Maker 2.
cool art style. I dig the sketchbook look. Interesting. I wonder if that's coming out on PC. It's an array of cartoon classics. If it's not, if it's not first party Nintendo, I'll be like, oh, will that come out on PC? Monoth's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monoth, uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout I've the world. I've heard this game is quite good. Use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing, because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Island adventures await. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Customize your character. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Isn't that what Butters played in South Park? Karomi and other familiar it's real? in this open world adventure. Team up. I thought, I thought it was made up. Mysteries and restore friendship island. This looks like Sanrio Animal Crossing, yeah. Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Next year, man. AKA new console. Let's get loony in the Oh, that looks crusty. <laughs> Play as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more. I don't know. It, it, this looks very crusty. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four-player local co-op. But watch out for falling anvils. Yeah. Pardon. I think, like, the contrast is a bit high on it. I don't know. What's up, Duck? That's all, folks. Let's see if you can be a game on! I'm not sure if it's just the Switch footage or if that's just how it looks. Roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when I have never played this game before. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. It's one of these ones that you need people to play it with. Taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. A monster army is at your command. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Felicidad, huh? Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia. Must I'll have to look into the Sunrio Animal Crossing thing to looking stop game. This vicious reign of the underworld. I imagine that's coming out on PC. Like, it's not a exclusive thing. It said console exclusive, so that means it's coming out to the other consoles. It's just coming out on the Switch first, which means most likely it's coming out on PC as well. They can then be trained for battle. I can't be believe it's the game from South Park. Exploit enemy weaknesses in action packed combat. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant Wait a minute, it's already out on Apple Arcade. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch November 1st. Okay, it is confirmed that it's coming to PC in 2025. So it'll be releasing on the Switch and PC Donkey first Kong in 2025. Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The Wh wait, what? Tiki Tap Tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen. I wanted to play this as well. Now it's all right. They're porting it to the Switch. Then I'm waiting for this. Obstacles in the way? Just stop them. <laughs> this is uh, good Donkey Kong. And roll on through. It's not new Donkey Kong, but I'll take a Donkey Kong that I haven't played that is good. From Manic Minecarts. I'll take it. To high flying rocket barrels. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. I was looking the Hello Kitty thing up. And I missed the start of this. Pass a Joy Con controller to a buddy for two. No, this is cool. Yeah, I. Awesome. 80 appealing levels are in store. 
including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Nice. Donkey Kong. Oh, I wonder if they're going to do Samus Returns. I would love it if they did Samus Returns. Wait, next year? Why? One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Next year? Plenty of wild actions. That seems like a really long way away for... Take a look at this. Hmm. Or remake. Or remaster, I guess, not remake. The time is nigh. What is this? Oh. Dragon Quest. Nice. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend. On an epic adventure. I heard this series is, is really good. I haven't really played one before, so... This has a cool art style. Perplexing challenges. And formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD2D. But if I'm being real, I would buy this on another platform, not the Switch. Forge your own path. Like, yeah, it's nice. It looks nice, but it's going to look better on something else. <laughs> the legacy. Unless I plan to play this portably. This is cool. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. Alright. It depends on what's out at the time. Wait, there's more. Are they gonna do f um, four as well? The complete trilogy? Oh, they're do oh wow, no, they're doing the original three next. The other two next year as well. Wow. Nintendo that might be a good time to get into the series. A bit odd that they're going to do three and then... Do, un unless there's no continuity. If there's no continuity, then fine. Chronologically, three comes for. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, makes sense. Is this is a case of just bad localization. Because Final Fantasy suffered that fate. We hope you're excited to play the entire. Like, three is actually one, one is actually two, and two is actually three. Let's continue with more headlines. Let's have some fun. Cut. No, thank you. Say hello to. Whoa, look at that shock. He Man? Great Scott. Is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is. I know this isn't designed for me. Action adventure mashup for the ages. Also, this looks visually. This characters. looks even more crusty. Four locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore. Like I think. Worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and Man. familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons. I don't know if it's just the footage or what, but it just this, it just has this around. like. Unbox the universe. I don't know how else to say it. It just looks crusty. Pops onto Nintendo Switch September 13th. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. That one didn't look as bad, but yeah, seems off, yeah. I'm genuinely surprised they're not giving this, like, a bigger segment. 
and explore multiple mansions. And it's been relegated to just a short thing. I'm surprised. Tricky traps and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. Find what him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. The Explore hell is this? dungeons and battle monsters. Customize all sorts of outfits. <laughs> decorate this your looks island derpy, you but like, cool. And more. Plus, up to four what the hell? This, local co -op it almost looks a little Animal Crossing-esque. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. I don't know what this is. It's like... Well, that's free to play. Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal Slug series. Eh, I mean, that's not what Metal Slug is known for, though. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to win tactical tussles. I like the pixel art, though. The pixel art looks cool. It's just... This, this isn't what this series is known for, you know? Storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Well, you know. Fine. Embark on an expedition of the dam in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off a This would have been cool a couple years ago. Darkest Dungeon. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly I've never played, but I've heard good things. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Play Link's classic Is there a difference with this version of the game? Online to explore randomized dungeons in the Legend of I mean, okay, I know that Four Swords. Swords. That is unique. Oh, Zero Mission is being that. But I don't have the expansion pass, so I don't think it's worth it. Metroid, zero mission. I want to play this sometime on stream. But I have an actual physical Coming copy of it, so Nintendo I can play it. 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. Wait, what? Oh. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaign. But like, various schemes in Turok. I feel like some of these, it's it's just like, I don't I don't know if many people and would try them. You know, early early 3D FPSs were kind of rough. Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. Like, I thought GoldenEye was really cool back in the day, but then, you know, tried it years later and was like, oh, man. Seems more for people that grew up with them. Yeah, true. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I think there are some early 3D games that age better than others, you know? Like, I played Banjo-Kazooie for the first time in this, was this year or last year? Phantom Brave series. Probably this year. <laughs> but, you know, Take I had fun with it, uh, given battles. it was an old 3D game. Where you combine it aged well. You befriended with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combined with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that Very can turn kawaii. the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Um, Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Some of these games are really good. I used to play them with my cousin and uncles. 
take down the Kingpin in the beat em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Oh, they even show hitboxes, damn. To challenge rivals around the world. Or play co op. And this is the reason why, like, you know, as good as Nintendo's subscription services, the fact is most of these companies would rather release their own collections than put them on Nintendo's service. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Another Mario game? Mario Party? Well, I guess it's been a while. Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. I, I like this series. The problem is you need people to play it with. Use in-game coins to get a star at half yeah. price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Roll'em Raceway. It can be very fun. Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on or like doing the thing where you... Everyone picks a computer character. Really get and you kind of just have a, a game around top. that. Like hoping your computer character Along does well enough. New game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. That's nice. Some mini games are action packed challenges. Speed trials. But this game was like the origin of me doing this stupid warrior voice. Some are controlled by gently shaking or Just tilting. Distracting people so then I would win the mini games. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. But. Are the boards available online? And aim for first or are they going to do the dumb thing again where it's not online on and top. they do that later? Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. I mean, we're more than halfway through this now. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series, Super Mario Party Jamboree, with new boards, mini games, 20 player online gameplay and more, get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. Oh, Zelda! It's 2D Zelda. But what is it? I don't I don't recognize this. It's in the Link's Awakening engine. Are we gonna get a game that's actually Zelda? <laughs> like, for once it's going to be Zelda? The Legend of Zelda actually being about Zelda? Well, this is a development. Ah. It's the legend of the link now. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. By the way, I it is my hope that they have gotten rid of that stupid blur filter they had in this engine. This time around, it drove me nuts in Link's Awakening remake. It looked horrible. It felt like my eyes were off. You might be thinking. It looks like the footage uh, doesn't have it. Here, we we'll wanted see. to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. 
Okay. To explain more, please take a look at this video. All right, so what, what is it? Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri-Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the Tri-Rod at so a she's going to be a mage. Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd a like. What? Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How uh, you use how? them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring. This is Hyrule. so weird but cool. You might be surprised at what you discover. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. <laughs> That's not okay. all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. You get After to summon minions. Fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create. Okay, come on, this is this is pretty situation. cool. Wisdom is key, after all. In a high rule without Link. No, this is good because it's. Different. Hands. It's a good way to vary up the gameplay. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. Wow. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launched. I'm surprised. I thought that given that it was new, it would be Nintendo next year. Oh, of course you are. The Legend of Zelda series <laughs> Sorry. will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as That's Zelda a cool console, by the adventure. way. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Well, there you go. Called it 2D Zelda. Thank you, Mr. Though, not the Zelda I was expecting. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda. I was right about it using Link's Awakening as a base. Let loose and I have to mute this because it'll be DMCA. Sorry. I don't want to get my VODs muted later. But, you know, this is just dance. There's one every year. Yeah. This is the world we live in now, where you can't have uh, any sort of music playing, or you will be punished. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm glad I am glad I am glad I muted this. Given what's playing, You need me to sing the songs? I don't know any of these songs. Pizza, pasta, put it in the box, deliver it to my house and put it on my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock. Cheesy on my peony and a salsa on my balls. But There you go. A new Lego adventure is on the horizon. It's the world of horizon in Lego form. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. Climb up onto tall necks and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. I haven't played, um... Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. What do you call it? Horizon. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. I've heard it's from the cool. Watchers, Never played any of them. To mighty sawtooths. 
you might even come across the But the Lego night Lego games are always neat. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. I think to appreciate this, I may need to actually check out Horizon. This holiday. But I mean, hey, PlayStation actually venturing out and putting on other systems. I wonder if it'll require a PSN account. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. Cool that it's coming to Switch, but, you know... It... This is one of these things that... Experience a decaying cyber <sighs> It's a bit late. Separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone... Yeah, exactly. It wasn't on the Switch before. And yeah, it's a, it's a bit late. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And, and stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. I just, I don't know. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Careful though. It's a good game. Excited to have you slinking around. But it's just another one of these ones that's just like I would have been excited for this a couple of years ago, not now. More areas of this unfamiliar world, and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday, and um, it's eating up, it's eating up time in the direct. Welcome home, Hobbit. What? If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from The Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into what? life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal. Is this like or Disney Dreamlight Valley, explore. except it's Lord of the Rings? Fish, forage, <laughs> and what? Cook. The best way to build a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with Hobbit for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Friendly Hobbits Where is the person? await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on it's the Nintendo cool. Switch system this holiday. But probably better on another system. Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Objection! I this is another franchise that I have been told that I should check out. Outside of Japan are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate I've crime scene. Been recommended this a lot of times throughout the years, but I've just never checked one out. Logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer. But again, this, this is something that um probably better on another system. Unless you want to play handheld. That's basically the, the difference. Including orchestral arrangements. And even then, I mean, we have the Steam Deck now, so you know. As you uncover the truth. That's available to you. At any cost. That's going to be interesting with the new console, like, the novelty of playing these sort of games handheld. It's gone. You know, it's not unique anymore. Sometimes you want to sit on the couch. Yeah, but it's, it's not unique anymore to Nintendo, you know? Like, we have the Steam Deck, and then we also have a bunch of other stuff that's very similar. That just runs Steam. That's what I mean, it's like, it'll be interesting to see how their new console does if... They don't have some... twist to it. Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, you're trying Minecraft on the PS5. It's the weird. You should try Terraria. Terraria is even weirder. 
I had it on the Switch for a while and played in my off time, but it gets tough. An academy shrouded in secrecy. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? The creators of Danganronpa present The 100 Line Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. I have nothing to say about this. I have nothing to contribute. <laughs> Embark on a saga spanning generations. These are just more RPGs that I'm not sure are a new franchise a or. Remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Okay, Nintendo this Switch. the title I'm actually familiar with. Rule like the name I've seen it pop up. Across multiple generations while challenging the legendary but... seven heroes who have turned to darkness. I mean, I guess. If you're a fan of the genre, like, you make the time, but a lot of these games are, like, 100-hour commitments. I don't see how people can get, like, you know... How many of these have they announced in the Direct? What, four? Five? How they could get all five and commit the time to it, you know? Before the next lot of them drop. Maybe I'm just underestimating how much time people spend on these. you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your... So we're almost at the end here. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take right. a look. Here we go, what is it? Metroid. If this is Samus Returns, I'm gonna be happy. Oh, <laughs> yes. This is not Samus Returns. I can't believe- I cannot believe they actually showed this. It's going to be on the new console. Without question. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. They, they announced this like seven years ago. <laughs> we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025, so please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. I wonder if they're going to release the other ones from the trilogy before that. I was not expecting Prime 4 to be shown off, so there you go. 
All right, well, that was the direct. A lot of remakes. Um, I can't believe Mario and Luigi is getting a new game, um, especially given the, uh, the company that developed that series went broke. So to see a new entry in that, man, I'm, I'm very happy. I, I have played Superstar Saga, and that game was enough to sell me on the franchise. I haven't played the others, but it was an excellent game. So to see more of that, I'm, I'm happy. Um, Donkey Kong Country Returns, I was actually planning on playing that, and now that's just another 3DS game that's coming to the Switch. So that's cool, getting a Switch port of it. I'll definitely check that out. Surprise that it's next year, though. That's a bit odd, but whatever. Um, what else? You thought it was some futuristic sci-fi thing with the number 2025, then you realize it's just next year. Yep. That is just next year. Um, but other than that, I mean... Oh, it's playing stuff in the background. Hold on. Stop. <laughs> it was loading like a, another trailer. It's fine. Stupid autoplay. Um, the Zelda game, which is coming out this year. That looks really cool. Looking forward to it. Looks awesome. Um, that one, I'm surprised that it's coming out this year. It's, it's so weird. Like, I would have expected the Donkey Kong game coming out at the time with the Zelda game coming out. And, you know, that new Zelda game next year. But, hey, I'll take it this year. Um, but it looks like there's going to be a bit of a gap. Like, it'll be July and then... There's not really going to be anything I'll check out until Zelda, if I'm not mistaken. I may need to look at the footage again. Um, there are a few other third-party titles that, you know, it's cool. I might check them out, but not on the Switch. Um, I mean, the Hello Kitty thing, it looks, it looks cool. Um, and if that's coming out on PC, that'll be... The platform I'd, I'd check it out on because uh, it's probably going to be better on that. Uh, what else? I mean, that Lord of the Rings game, it, it looks cozy and nice, I guess, to see if that comes out on other platforms. Um, there was a okay, a lot of RPG games, but the only one that peaked. My interest is just the the Dragon Quest remasters or remakes, whatever. Um, I've heard good things about the series, so it might be a good time to get into it if they're uh, making the older ones available again. So, well, maybe. Uh, but yeah, this was more than I expected them to do. Um. I, I didn't expect them to announce any of the bigger games, and I guess they did, so... Yeah. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for me watching the Nintendo Direct thingy. Um, I guess, I, you know what? If I would have thought about it, I would have uh, just scrubbed back through the footage. That would have been smart, but it's gone now. <laughs> so, it's alright. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed me just looking at this. Um, it's, it was my night off, but I figured uh, I should probably watch this and just share my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, and um, we'll probably continue Elden Ring, as the DLC for that is out on Friday. So, hope to see you around for that. But in the meantime, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching this viewing thingy.